everybody, Zach again, NewTutorial.com. Wanted to come in and do a video. Uh, I have a friend of ours who is back. Uh, you may have recognized him and known him before in some of my previous videos. Uh, he has stopped by he's spending a few days with us, and he's, he has another side project. Uh, you remember Travis Huey? Say hi, Travis. How's it going? Okay. He's got this. Whoa, what is that? Look at that. Unbelievable. Okay, so uh, Travis, if you remember, it was... Um, uh, here and uh, he helped us build our aquaponics system and he is back and he's helping us some, with some more of that but he's also coming up with something additional that we'll talk about in a few minutes but I want to introduce him again and have him explain to you uh, what he's doing with with this uh, big yellow monster here so uh, oh what do you got for us here? Big yellow monster? Yeah. Come on, man. The <laughs> name is Sojourner. It's Sojourner. All right. Sojourner. Alrighty. Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, yeah, my wife and I recently have come to the decision that uh, once our kids have moved out of the house, we are no longer in need of a lot of square footage. And uh, we've always wanted to do a housing project and something a little bit alternative, but nothing really stuck until we came up with this idea of using a school bus, which is not a new idea. There's a whole counterculture out there of what's called schoolies where people actually convert buses to RVs or, uh, you know, homes. And so our plan is to build this bus into a home and leave us the flexibility that, you know, should the Lord say, uh, guys, I want you to go over here and do this for a while. We can literally take a couple hours, box things up, hit the key and roll. And uh, so that's kind of our whole idea is just to be flexible so that we can be clay in the potter's hand, as it were and um, put ourselves in a position to be very resilient because I think the times may need that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So tell me, what did you do to go about finding this? Well, there's a, um, there's a website that I used for this particular bus called Public Surplus. And what happens is they list all of these items that different governmental agencies and such, school districts and all of that have for sale, put up for auction. And so we purchased this one from the Plainview, Texas School District. And uh, I flew out and basically uh, rented a car, drove to where this place, where the bus was, and picked it up. Yeah, yeah. And it's... gotten the keys and drove it off. Everybody there in the bus barn was shaking their heads, going, they can't even imagine making a 15, 1600 mile trip in a school bus because them, they're like, that is no fun at all. <laughs> but we're doing it. Fortunately, I've got a few stops along the way, and here with Zach and his family was one of them. And uh, it makes the trip a whole lot more enjoyable by breaking it up like that. Very cool. And so, yeah, uh, so tell us some of the things you found, discovered, and had to work on. Oh, you want to go in? <laughs> Should we go into the hill? <laughs> yeah, well, no, we don't need to do that. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you know, it had a couple of issues that we worked out, actually got finished up today. And, um, you know, a fuel lines were leaking. A fuel filter was actually about to fall off of the thing. So it's a miracle we even made it this far. I'm a diesel mechanic. I've worked on diesel engines for over 25 years. And I'm sitting there going, this thing should not have ran. <laughs> and there were a couple of issues where it was like not doing so well. And I knew I had to deal with it. But uh, we got here and found the problems. And hopefully we'll be, we'll be shoving out of here after Shabbat. Good deal. Awesome. And so, uh, yeah, that, this is amazing. I'm really excited to see what the finished product is going to be. Uh, he's kind of explained, you know, some of the things you want to do with it. And uh, it's really interesting. And so a lot of pictures hopefully coming soon. And That's right. I'm sure he'll be back and uh, yep. we'll show it off again. <laughs> so, all right. Another thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to let him talk about maybe a little bit here, mm -hmm. is... is um, He's coming up with a new project. Now, he was here. He's, he also specializes in aquaponics. He is the inventor of the barrel ponics system, which you can download the manual, manual for free on his website, fastonline.org. And he gives that out for free. And, and many people throughout the years have taken advantage of that and, and used it to build their own system. And so that's kind of what he helped us build. And so uh, and you can also take advantage of that. And so he's coming out with a surprise. And we're going to... Do actually, we're going to record a video here in a few minutes that we're going to release in late November, at the end of November, and he is going to. Uh, uh, it's going to be. It's going to be another opportunity for you to take that first step in aquaculture, and uh, he's made it already easy on his website. Uh, right. Tell us about the manual that you got going on. on. Fastonline.org. Uh, the PDF, just the barrel ponics manual, has been out since 2005. We, uh, you know, it's kind of my fishes and loaves project. 
uh, we decided way back when that this information needed to be put into the hands of the masses and they shouldn't have to pay two hundred dollars to get some information you know that uh, information should be available freely you know the word says freely you've received freely give and my thing was that if if a poor fella who couldn't afford two hundred dollars and can't afford to feed his family how in the world can you withhold that information from him uh, it, it is just obscene to me so we made that available back then probably been over a quarter of a million copies that I know of that have been given away all over the world probably more and so what we're doing is we're going to be releasing a new for retail product so stay tuned mm -hmm. yeah and I'm very excited about that and so we're going to get some up close and personal looks at that at a video that we're going to release in November uh, here on this channel this channel only and so uh, yeah stay tuned for that and uh, get to be the first ones to know about it and be the first ones to take advantage of it uh, which is I think just in time for spring which is when you want this thing to be kicked off and allowing you and your family to grow some food so uh travis we're very excited about that and i uh, can't wait we're going to do Me a too. recording of that here soon and we'll release Good. it on, on in november and uh, wow it, i'm really excited about it and i know others are too great so all right well good deal uh there you go the sojourner the sojourner very exciting so all right well stay tuned stay tuned for that video we'll be out shortly uh that's it go home read your bible thanks